what equipment do we need to get started in the business? Okay, so if you're just going to do like small interior jobs or like an exterior job, so exterior jobs a little different. Now, you might want to get a sprayer for that, but I would recommend if you're starting out, just just stick to the interior jobs, like a, like a, a kitchen, a bathroom. So literally all you need to get that done is a brush, a roller, and a bucket. I mean, you could seriously get it done. You could use old bed sheets or just be really careful, carry a wet rag around with you. Because and all the, the cool thing about painting, right, is like all of the material is basically paper and plastic and it's it's fairly inexpensive and it goes a long way. So really to get started, and I'm gonna include some material in this, and that's just because you kind of need some material. So you can expect to spend, you know, anywhere from ten to twenty dollars on a brush. You're gonna need a brush. Now I recommend having several, but one brush will do the trick because you can wash that sucker out and use it over and over and over. Same thing with the roller, get a good quality roller. A roller pad and a good quality frame now those dollar store frames that i mentioned earlier those will get the job done but what happens is they're really flimsy and what ends up happening is they bend and it's 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 hard to apply the pressure evenly and, and everything so just get you a couple good quality paint rollers and, and brushes to start out a bucket any kind of bucket's going to work and a lot of people like to use those pans where those are pans they lay flat on the ground and and you I don't recommend using those unless you like stepping in paint. Now, just get you a bucket because a bucket, you can pick it up. You're not having to bend over. And um, those are the tools you need to get started. A bucket, a roller, and a brush, man. I mean, honestly, that's that's all you need <laughs> to get awesome, started. man. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, to the to the point that we made earlier, uh, Vin Viz just commented a great comment. He said, if you get an exterior job that you can't handle, you can always sub it out and get some cash flow from the job. So I think that's a great idea, man. And I think that's a great way for people to go about it. Um, do you think that there's a market for people just being able to find jobs and then and then um, subbing it out to other people? So, so unless you have a contractor's license, that's technically like illegal. For me, when you're first starting out, you know, just just get out there and do it. And you could rent a sprayer. The thing why I say is you might need a sprayer for the exterior is because with stucco, you, I mean, you're going to be there for weeks and weeks if you're trying to dip your roller each time you want to paint that stucco. That stuff's like concrete. A lot of times it's real dry. Sometimes it's never been painted because the stucco over here in California, they just add a, a powder, like a colorant to right. the stucco. I don't know. Do you guys have stucco out there? Yeah. Like stucco houses? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I recommend a sprayer, but you could rent a sprayer. You can go to most of uh, Kelly Moore, like a Benjamin Moore or like um, – Pittsburgh or any kind of spots like that, you could rent a sprayer and they're fairly cheap, probably 24 hour rental for a, for a sprayer to get like all of the body work done on a house. Cause that's really all you need the sprayer for is the big surfaces because you're going to come back with a brush and fine tune everything, but you're looking at a $60 expense. If you can knock it down in one day, you know, or go back to the earlier thing and just call around, man, get on face. Anybody got a paint sprayer I can borrow for the weekend all or right. you do what my buddy Ricky says, he goes, Oh, you do the, uh, Walmart rental program. Just go buy it and take it back when you're done. <laughs> uh, I don't recommend doing that. Close. But I mean, yeah, yeah it's it, bad business. You know, it's bad karma too. I feel like. Well, dude, tell me what the difference between uh, you said earlier. You could buy like a two dollar brush, and then once you do a job, you can get like a more expensive brush. Is like, is there a, that big of like a difference between the entry level, like really cheap stuff, and then the and then the higher price stuff? Yeah, absolutely. So if you get those cheap brushes, um, like I said, they'll get the job done. But what happens is the bristles will come out. So you'll have like little bristles everywhere and they don't really hold the paint right. And it makes right. it hard to cut in straight lines. Now, if you get the more expensive brushes, I recommend using a purdy brush. And, you know, there's all kinds of different types for different surfaces that you're going to paint. But um, those brushes will last forever, hold a lot of paint and the filaments are synthetic and they're like split on the end. So they, they're designed. I mean, there's some design and thought put into like a quality brush, whereas the cheap brushes are just slammed together somewhere and it's, they're going to fall apart. You could try to wash them out, but they're not really going to last. Right, right, right. So basically what you're saying is get your jobs and then reinvest in your equipment when you start oh, out. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Just like with any business really, right? right? Of course. Thanks so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like for me. And also leave me something down in the comment section. If you'd like to be notified for my future videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon so you don't miss anything. If you'd like to watch this podcast in its entirety, there will be a link in the comment section and the description to the full version of the podcast. Also, if you're curious about any of the equipment that I use to make this video, there will be Amazon links in the comment section and the description. If you click through and purchase anything within a 24-hour period using those links, I will get a small commission and I'll greatly appreciate you for that. If you'd like to sponsor the channel or support it in any other way. I also have Patreon and merch down in the comment section and the description, but I really appreciate you for watching. My name is Justin. This is Forever Self-Employed, and until next time, hustle hard and get that money.
peace.